my name is Tanya. If you're new here, welcome. On my channel I make videos about bullet journaling and today I'm going to be creating a brand new bullet journal setup for 2022. It feels so good to be back and making these videos again. My break turned out to be a lot longer than I expected but I really needed this time for myself to figure out my reasons for bullet journaling and making these videos. But I'm back now and with this setup I am going back to basics and doing a simple, functional and minimalist setup. So if you're new to bullet journaling, this could be just perfect for you. If you want to see more monthly setup videos from me in the future, subscribe to my channel and also check out my Instagram account at Papery Thoughts. This year I'm using this absolutely beautiful Archer and Olive notebook with the brown vegan leather cover. And even the idea of getting to use this notebook makes me so excited for the new year. After writing my name on the cover and adding a small piece of washi tape, I started the actual setup with a key page. I started bullet journaling in 2018, so this is going to be my fifth year of doing this setup, so I think I'm already kind of familiar with my own system and all these symbols. But a key page is always one of the pages that I still like to include in my yearly setups. And this page also kind of sets up the minimalist style that I'm going for this year. Next to the key page I did a cover slash quote page that says 2022 and a new chapter begins. I know this quote is a bit corny, but you know what? I do feel like a new chapter is about to begin. On the next spread I'm doing my future log for the first six months of 2022. I can only fit six months in one journal and I used to have all 12 months here, but I have realized that I don't really have that many things planned for the second half of the year, because it's a new school year and everything. Thinking back, I could have just a smaller space for the second half, but oh well. Maybe I'll add one later. For the header, I used that black and white floral washi tape as a background. And this washi tape is, by the way, the only thing that I used for decoration in this whole setup. So when I said this is going to be minimal, I really meant it. If you want to decorate your yearly pages more, you could easily fill some of the empty spaces with some florals or use more colors. And I have done more decorative setups in the past and I'll link all of them in the description box if you're interested to check them out. We are moving on to my 2022 goals page. This year I decided to have four main goals and I did these boxes for each of them. And under the boxes I have space to write down smaller goals that are going to take me closer to the bigger ones. Next to the goals page I have my 2022 timeline, or memories as I decided to call it this time. I used the same style as on the future log where I created this like background with the washi tape and then glued a just a bit thinner stripe of white paper on top to make this washi tape border. Then I stamped the first three letters of the first six months, and then it was pretty much done. Then 
The next page is called When Did I Last? And this is a page that I use all the time. I use it mainly to plan for chores that I don't have to do every week. It's a simple layout with the numbers of the week on top and all the chores I'm going to be writing down on the left side. On this spread I also decided to add a bucket list for the next year and since we can't possibly know how the next year is going to be, are we going to be able to do anything or go anywhere, the things on my bucket list are going to be some things that I can do inside, maybe something art related, or things that don't involve any other people. So I created eight boxes for eight things on my list and decorated them with these drop shadow box thingies. And inside each box I also drew a line to write down the date when I checked that thing off my list. One of the things that I started doing on my YouTube break was listening to audiobooks. I had been listening to podcasts before, mainly Finnish true crime podcasts, but not that many actual books. But ever since I started listening to them, I can't seem to stop. So if you have any good book recommendations, let me know in the comments. Next to this reading log, I continued with the same theme and did a I want to watch page. I divided the page in half for TV shows and movies. And I think this page is pretty self-explanatory. I'll write down interesting things that I want to watch this year. We have just a couple more pages left. This one is my project to work on page. I don't know about you, but I always have so many projects around the house that are just always there but never gets done. And these so-called projects are the smallest things ever, like organize the spice cabinet or label markers or something like that. So I thought it could be a good idea to have them all on this page and maybe start working on these projects one by one. We have arrived to the last page of my 2022 setup and this is for any notes or ideas that I might have that I want to remember later during the year. Overall, I'm so happy how this whole setup turned out and it really feels like my setup. Let me know in the comments if you have already set up your bullet journal ready for 2022 and if you have a theme for it. Now let's see the final slip through of my setup for the new year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!